This video shows the process and tools used to make a simple box. Designing a box in Sketchlist 3D is a straightforward process that involves a few key steps. This is the build board by board approach for training purposes. You can use the cabinet wizard, of course, for a quicker path to your box. There are videos on our YouTube channel that demonstrate the cabinet wizard. Here is a step-by-step -step guide to help you get started. Step one, create a new project. Open Sketchlist 3D and start a new project. Name your project and set the dimensions for your workspace. The name and dimensions are required. The other information is optional. When finished, click Create. The design area of the screen will show the assembly inside the project. We will insert another assembly. Let's add another assembly. Click the icon at the top left of the screen. Then click the Add Assembly menu item. When the assembly calculator opens, enter the name. Then change the height to 18 and click the green button top. Change the width to 24 and click the green button right and change the depth to 12. Then click the green button back. This is the result. Now, it is important to note that assembly box 2 is not inside the assembly box. They overlap but are independent. You can change the location or size at any time. However, an assembly can never be outside of or larger than its project. One way to change the location or size of an object like the assembly is to use the calculator. The calculator has three columns and three rows of data points, locations, and sizes. To modify the assembly, it is a good practice to enter an identifiable assembly name. To change the size, edit the value in the center column. Change the height, width, and depth to 48, then click on the top, right, and back green buttons. Clicking bottom left or front is not allowed since that will cause the box to leave the project boundary. Also, an assembly may never be smaller than its contents. Step 3. Add boards to the assembly. Insert boards. Click the Insert Board icon at the top left of the screen. Enter the name of the board. Then, pull down the insert into the box and select the container where to insert the board. We will choose box 2. Next, select the material for the board. Make sure you select the correct type. Sheet goods or solid lumber. Enter the size of width, height, and department. The size of the board must be equal to or less than that of the material selected. Indicate which dimension is the board thickness. This is used for optimizing and cut list preparation. Vertical boards T. For vertical boards, like the left side board, the thickness is V or width. Finally, indicate which dimension the grain direction is running in. Again, this is needed for optimizing and cutting lists. Click Add Board. This image shows the board in the assembly box too. Now that the board is created, it can be copied and modified to use elsewhere. First, we need to go to into the level of box 2 assembly. Do that by selecting box 2 in either the spreadsheet or the work level. Then, click on box 2 in the breadcrumbs list at the top of the screen. This is the assembly level for box 2, which shows its contents. Notice there is no project floor under the image indicating you are working in that assembly. Click on the left board to select it. It will turn green. Then click the clone and mirror button at the lower right of the screen. A copy is made of the left board, flipping it 180 degrees so that any detail on the right of the left board will be duplicated on the left of the right board, such as joinery. Click the insert board icon at the top left of the screen. Enter the name of bottom for the name of the board. Then pull down the insert into the field and select the container where to insert the board. We will choose box two. Next, select the material for the board. Make sure you select the correct type sheet goods or solid lumber. Enter the size of the width of 12, the height of 3 quarters, and the depth of 12. We will adjust the width in the design image. The size of the board must not be larger than the material selected. Indicate which dimension is the board thickness. This is used for optimizing and preparing cut lists. The bottom board thickness is height. Finally, indicate which dimension the grain direction is running, in this case, the width. In our box, we know the right edge of the left side has a value to 3 quarters, so we can locate the bottom board by entering 3 quarters for the left. Click Add Board. Here is the board. We adjust its width by dragging the right red dot to the right while holding the Shift key down. When it touches the right side, it will click into place.
Next, create the top board by cloning the bottom board and moving it to the top. Select the bottom board and it will turn green. Click the clone button at the lower right corner of the screen. This clone does not move the board, so it remains in place and must be moved. In the spreadsheet, notice that the top of the sideboards is 24. Change the value of the top of the bottom. One board from 3 quarters to 24 and click the green button column heading labeled top. The board will move into place. Now insert the front board. Click the insert board icon at the top left of the screen. Enter name of front for the name of the board. Then pull down the insert into field and select the container where to insert the board. We will choose box two. Next, select the material for the board. Make sure you select the correct type, sheet goods or solid lumber. Enter the size of the width of 12, the height of 12, and the depth of 3 quarters. We will adjust the width and height in the design image using the red dot drag method. The size of the board must not be larger than the material selected. Indicate which dimension is the board thickness. This is used for optimizing and preparing cut lists. The front board thickness is depth. Finally, indicate which dimension the grain direction is running. In this case, the height. In our box, we know the right edge of the left side has a value to 3 quarters. So we can locate the front board by entering 3 quarters for the left and 3 quarters for the bottom. Click Add Board. Here is the front board. We adjust its width by dragging the right red dot to the right while holding the shift key down. When it touches the right side, it clicks into place. Then we shift and drag the top red dot upwards until it clicks again on the top board. Clone the front board. Select the front board and it will turn green. Click the clone button at the lower right corner of the screen. This clone does not move the board, so we must move it. To move it to the back, use the slider bar, which is on the calculator, below the front depth back text boxes. At this point, the box is complete and ready for modification, saving to library or export. Go to www.sketchlist.com for more information or to sign up for the free trial.